Hi YouTube, this is Omar and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool watch faces for the Sony Smartwatch 2. So uh, as you can see, uh, Sony on the last update, firmware update that they did, they changed the, the way that you can actually add custom watch faces to your watch. So uh, this one is uh, just a concept that I threw out. So uh, let me show you how I was able to make this uh, custom watch face. So first you're going to need uh, your phone paired with the watch like you normally do. So um, if you go into your uh, Smartwatch 2 uh, application, you can see that there are uh, a few things added and one of them is edit watch faces. You can click there you'll see a whole lot of uh, the uh, old watch faces they used to have on the watch but there is uh, a plus sign on top so if you click there you'll see uh, a little mock-up of your watch and this is the way you can actually start editing uh, the watch faces you have two options below one's uh, clocks and the other one is widgets if you click on watch in clocks uh, you'll see a whole bunch of different clocks that you can add. Uh, let's say that we want, uh, let me uh, add this one, like the one on the Nexus. If you see, it will only take uh, three by three squares, so the rest of the um, space you can use it for uh, some other. Um, widgets so you can click back go to the widgets menu and if you for example want to add the uh, weekday just click on it and drag it to whatever place you want to put them also you will see options for battery this one is uh, two squares so I can do this and then uh, put them both there and uh, and there is a, this is something really interesting you can see the new events and display on the watch face the uh, current new events as a widget so you see that uh, it actually updated in real time the uh, uh, watch face on the uh, device. So if you want the uh, music player bottoms, you can put them here. Bluetooth over here. And a reminder of how many uh, uh, notifications you have. If you see, the other icons are grayed out. This is because of. Uh, uh, of not any one of them fitting on the two uh, squares that you have left on the grid. So that's basically it. That's how you change it. Um, but I also want to tell you uh, a few other uh, stuff that uh, were included on that firmware update. Uh, one of them. Another cool feature that they put it on this new firmware is the tap to wake up on the screen. Right now, if you see it, the screen, it's idle. So if I double tap, you will wake up. Uh, you don't have to uh, press anything. Um, just double tap the clock and uh, it will light up. Um, also, if you press on the side button and you drag it up, it will uh, put you the uh, menu. So it's like right there. Uh, well, if you know, if you swipe down, you can see the notifications. And also, those notifications will be on the um, notification shown on the notification toggle on the watch face. So. You can select the uh, wake up from settings 
and go to screen and display double tap to wake up screen and that uh, you can adjust it here the sensibility and with this checkbox you have it uh, activated the last feature that I want to tell you it's the uh, way that you can actually change the uh, home uh, background this is also on the new firmware if you click here on the settings and go to uh, not vibrate but on display wallpaper you have uh, several options that you can choose from basically it's different colors and at the end you have the the regular one that came in the first firmware you can choose white, yellow, red you just click on it and uh, it will be uh, shown on the uh, clock um, also on the new up menu you have the availability to uh, change some uh, configuration for each one of the apps that you have uh, if you select for example Gmail you, you can show you like to wake up on notifications vibrate on notifications this basically depends on each app so uh, there you have it i hope you enjoyed this review uh put me a thumbs up if you like it so uh, i'll see you in the next video bye